Today we are going to create a cool Twitter bot to generate automatic tweets like this one. New whale alert from this address to this address sent $7 million and we have the link to Etherscan to check out that transaction, on which we are going to get a lot more information. To accomplish this, we are going to need just two simple Python scripts and of course, Morales streams, the better way to get live information out of the blockchain. Keep watching because we are just getting started. What's up, YouTube? My name is Vasily, your Web3 instructor from Latin America, Ecuador. I've been building on the space since 2020 with cool crypto projects. In my free time, I really enjoy singing and playing the guitar, and if the time is good, I like to go out and take some meditations. But enough about me. Let's go back to the video and start building. Let's get started with the bot itself. Here I am on Twitter's developer portal, and we need to create a new app. And by the way, if this is the first time you're trying to use Twitter API, you first need to request access to it. So please go to the video description. You're going to have this link on which you can request access to the Twitter API. This is a really straightforward process. It would take you like three or five minute stops. And once you have access, you are going to be able to see this developer portal. But also, as we want this Twitter to be able to tweet on our behalf, we need also elevated access. Again, go to your Twitter API version 2 and go to the elevated tab. You are going to need to fill up some information about how you are going to use the API. They do this in order to be sure you're not going to use it on a bad way. And again, the process will take you like two, maybe five minute tops is 100% free and the verification most of the times goes instantly. With that said, let's go back to my developer portal and let's create a new application here on my Morales bot project. I already have one I used to test the code, but let's create another one just to show you the process. Let's create a new one for production. Let's give it a name. I'm going to use whale alerts bot 2 because I already have one. Let's click on next. And here the project is going to show us our API keys. Remember your API keys are really important and you must not share these ones with anyone, but don't copy them yet because we need to change some parameters and then regenerate them. So let's go to app settings. Down here on user authentication settings, we need to set up how this bot is going to be like. And again, in order to be able to do this, be sure you have the elevated access on the Twitter API. Let's click on setup. Let's change it to read and write because we want the bot to be able to make tweets in our behalf. Let's select the bot option. And as we are not using an external services, let's just redirect them to Twitter again. Let's click on save. We are going to have a warning here telling us that changes these parameters might change all the project settings. Let's click on yes. We are going to have a client ID and a client secret. We are not going to use this on this tutorial, but you might need them on the future. So be sure you copy this to a secure place. Let's click on done. And now let's go to keys and tokens. Here we need to regenerate the API keys. And the reason is because we just changed the permissions to this bot. So we need new keys. So let's click on regenerate. Yes, here on my Visual Studio code, I have a .m file on which we are going to fill up all this information. So let's do it. Once you have them all, we can save this file. And again, remember not to share this information with anyone. I'm showing the API keys right now because I'm going to delete this application right after I finish recording this video. But remember, this is sensitive information, so please keep these keys secure. And this is it. This is all the information we need from Twitter's developer portal. Let's create the bot now. So here I have a new script called twitterbot.py on which I'm just importing Twippy, which is a Python library to access Twitter API and we can install it just using this pip installed Twippy. So let's get started. First of all, we need all the keys we put here on the .m file. So let's make them. The consumer key is going to be os.getm. The name is actually Twitter API key. And I'm going to do the same for the other ones. Once we have the keys, we can connect to the Twitter API. So let's create a new variable called out 
for authentication, dweepy.outhandler, the consumer key, and the consumer secret key. We need to also set the access token, so out.set access token with the access token and the access token secret. And we need to connect now to the API, so the API equals dweepy.api, and we are going to use this authentication token. As easy as that, just three lines of code. Now we can create a simple function to create a new tweet. So dev send tweet api.update status and tweet. And let's just print something like this to be sure the tweet get published. And look at this, with just 22 lines of code, we already have the bot as easy as that. So let's test this out. Let's use this send tweet and let's just tweet hello world this tweet is from a bot let's try if this works properly let's go to my terminal and type python twitterbot.py hit enter and it seems that the twitter has been published is it let's check this out and yeah it is i have this tweet over here as easy as that but of course we don't want to just tweet this we want to make a twitter bot for whale alerts so i'm just going to delete this one over here and let's go to the second part of the video how we can get the information of the whale movements for Tether usd well you already know the answer we are going to use moralis streams here i have a demo stream again let's create another one and by the way if you don't have a moralis account yet this is the part of the video for you to go to maris.io, create your free account, and here on your admin panel on the stream section, we are going to create a new one to listen to all transactions. So let's get started. Let's create a new stream. We have already Tether over here. Let's click it. This is going to create an example for Tether USD. And here we have to provide some information. First of all, the webhook URL. Morales Streams works with webhooks, and we have to provide an address Morales is going to set the information to. So, let's go back to my project over here. I have another file called index.py, and here I'm creating a really simple server using Flask. So basically, we are going to have a new root called slash webhook with the method post, and it's going to take the information which comes from Morales. Let's run this with python index.py. Now the live server is running. Again, the script is really simple. Remember all the code we are using on this lesson, you are going to find out on the video description. But again, just 20 lines of code to create this simple Flask server. But of course, this is running on our local host and Morales Streams requires a webhook. So let's use ngrock to create that tunnel. So ngrock HTTP on the port 5002. This is going to create a new web address we can now use. And this web address is pointing directly to our Flask server over here. So let's go back to the Morales admin panel, paste the webhook over here. Let's change the root webhook. The description, let's keep on demo stream and the tag, let's say, demo bot and let's save this nice we can continue we are going to listen to the transactions on Tether for the ethereum network we need to take the contract interactions actually we don't care about native transactions so i'm going to unselect this and here we have to provide the abi or the application binary interface so we can just go to ether scan paste it over here and this is the address for Tether USD. Let's go to contract. And down here, we are going to have the contract ABI. So let's just copy this, go back to Morales. Our Morales is going to automatically detect all the functions we can listen to. And the one we want is this transfers. And now the most important part, this stream now is listening to all the transactions on the Tether USD. And we don't want that. We just need the ones which are made from whales. So here we can create a new filter. We need to provide the topic zero, which is actually the function name. In this case, transfers. Now we can add the filter. Let's say GT 
let's set up this value for transactions equal or greater than one million dollars so one one two three one two three and remember usdt has six decimals so we have to add six more zeros over here one two three four five six and of course an actual whale transaction might be a lot greater than one million dollars but as we are making this for testing purposes we don't want to wait a lot of hours until a whale make a big movement like that so i think one million dollars is a reasonable number let's click on update this stream is working just as a demo and on the meantime i was talking we have all the information over here but we need this on production so let's change it to production and that's it let's go back to the streams admin panel let's go back to my terminal and here I have the information. This is the basic information of what we are going to get. And boom, we are getting the information of all the transactions for Tether USD, which are greater than $1 million. But of course, this information seems ugly and we need to connect this to our Twitter bot. So now we know this is working properly. Let's go back here and pause the stream. So let's take this big chunk of information and make it in something more understandable for us. So here, instead of printing all the response, let's start getting the information we actually want. First of all, I'm going to create a try statement on which I'm going to say the transfer is going to be equal to JSON object. The name is RC20 transfers with S and we want the index zero. If we don't get this, let's just put an accept here for an index error and return OK. Once we have the transfer on this RC20 transfers, because if we look here on the response, this is the information we need, the ERC transfers. Here is contained all the information we want for our whale alert. And now let's get all the information we are going to use. So sender going to be equal transfers from receiver transfers to value the value the token name is going to be the token name in this case we know we are just using tether usd and the transaction hash is going to be this one this transaction hash is the one we are going to use to link to etherscan now over here i have a function called handle response and tweet which is going to take all these parameters over here so let's create that as we have a limited amount of characters on Twitter, we don't want to show all the addresses. Instead, we would like to show something like this, the first six characters and the last three. So let's use some Python magic to accomplish this. Let's say the sender is going to be equal to the sender, taking the first six digits and the last three ones. And also let's concatenate another dots over here the same is going to be for the receiver now let's format the value as you can see here on the response we have a value like this one but it's not separating the decimals and also we don't have the symbol for dollar so let's do that i have here imported local library and with this format so we can use that the value is going to be dollar symbol Instead of two decimals, we are going to use six and we are going to format the value, but we need it to be a float because remember this response over here is just a string. So we need to convert it into a float and let's divide this to one million because again, we have six decimals over here. And finally, the transaction hash is going to be equal to HTTP etherscans.io slash transaction and the transaction hash because this is the format etherscan uses for the transaction. Now we can create a tweet. So tweet is going to be equal new whale alert. The sender sent this value of the token name tetherusd to the receiver and we are going to set the transaction hash. So let's just say it here in transaction and this transaction. This is it. Now we can use this send 
tweet function over here to take all of this and publish it on Twitter. I already have imported the function over here, send tweet. So let's copy this, go back over here, paste it and the tweet. As here, we are already printing on the console the result. We don't have to do anything else over here. And this was really, really easy. The only thing left is to take this handle tweet and use it over here. So handle tweet, the sender, the receiver, the value, the token and the transaction hash. And let's test this out. But of course, we should have to delete this send Twitter we use as example over here. So I'm going to start again my server running on this local host, which is connected through ng-rock to this location. So let's start our stream again. Activate the stream. This is working. Let's go back to the terminal and let's wait. After a couple of minutes, we got a new world transaction from this address. Send $3 million of Tether USD to this address on this transaction hash, which is pointing to Etherscan. And if we go to our Twitter, let's go to my personal profile. And as you can see here, I have a new tweet, new will alert with the exact same information pointing to Etherscan. And that was it. As easy as that, we create a really simple Twitter bot just 22 lines of code, connected to a really simple fax server, take all the information, and the actual hardest part was actually to just use some Python magic to take all that big response in something that is more easy to understand and read. Now you can use this code as a template and create any kind of Twitter boost using Modalis Streams. And that was it for today's tutorial. Don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the GitHub repo. So check out the link on the description. And as you are already here, click over here to subscribe to Morales channel, turn on the notifications, and also check out more videos. Thanks for watching till the end and see you on the next occasion.